Uh, my name is Tessa Graham uh, and I grew up in Ontario but I moved to Newfoundland in 2011 and I've been there since uh, and I currently live, uh, I'm based out of St. John's, Newfoundland. I lived on the west coast in Cornerbrook for four years for my um, undergrad in visual arts and I moved to St. John's um, to work for the visual artist Newfoundland and Labrador and I worked there for a couple of years and I got to know a lot of like the different artists in the in the art community and the galleries and so different volunteer um, opportunities so I got to know a lot of um, the arts community when I initially moved to St. John's in 2015 um, and it just kind of has felt um, like lovely community and like lovely lovely time being there ever since. I was initially interested in this uh, residency opportunity um, because I've I, um, I did a semester in Ireland in Waterford uh, in 2013 during my undergrad um, and I've always loved like Ireland and have like Irish like some Irish heritage so I was always really intrigued with kind of like coming back and What's kind of held me in St. John's and in Newfoundland ha is the ocean and like the coastal um, way of living and like the people who live um, in these quote unquote more remote areas. When I got here, I, uh, I ended up um, focusing a bit more on um, foraging for natural dyes uh, in uh, changing slightly from foraging for like berries or flowers or like things that it can turn into like food and like uh, some things that are edible. Um, I kind of shifted a little bit more to seeing um, what sort of natural dyes I could kind of create and make here. Uh, part of that just being the logistics of not being able to internationally bring plant matter <laughs> back and forth and so uh, I kind of focused on some plants that were familiar to me that I hadn't used for dyeing uh, previously and then things that were um, a bit newer and so I kind of focused a bit more on uh, fireweed which here is rose bay willow herb and uh, was it fireweed, yarrow, um, heather and meadowsweet. So meadowsweet and heather are things that we don't see very much um, except for the, the Scottish sailors years ago that planted it on Signal Hill, so that's the only place in Newfoundland that you can find it and see it. Um, but I kind of focused on some that were familiar to me, um, yarrow and fireweed, and then others that weren't as familiar to me to kind of do a lot of comparisons and experimentation with like different dyeing and just like the color palettes of, of place. A lot of my work kind of deals with place and home and what, what home means and what um, like seasons and routine and, and nature and kind of how all those things kind of play a part in what like we as community and we as individuals all call home and, and like why we choose to live in certain places um, or or don't choose but have to um, so it's been it's been nice to be able to have the time um, in this residency to like sit back and just not always have to be moving <laughs> and kind of be able to enjoy and think about these these sorts of things. Being away from home I think gives you a clearer picture of the home you want to build and the home that you kind of exist in or like have existed in um, and being able to have that like time away and like in a different space um, and like doing work about home um, not at home kind of gives you like a lot of, um, you think about it a lot more and you like, you, you think about what those memories hold and what you end up like fabricating. Like l literally even like the fabrics just that you're like, that I was, have been working with, like fabricating your uh, different ideas of these memories of, of home and kind of like, is it is it place? Is it those memories? Is it the people? Is it um, your routine in those, those places and with those those people so kind of like all of those different levels together I think it's always important to have time away to then appreciate where you're from or where you like choose to live and like it validates those choices so I, uh, I began my master's of 
uh, visual arts in May this year. Uh, and so the master's itself is a low residency program. So it's like I spent a month there in like between May and June. Uh, and the rest of it's kind of done from distance to kind of allow like working individuals to like be able to do their work from um, where they live or like where they you know want to spend their time like and like what they're researching um, so it was just very conducive with being able to do this residency um, because I was talking about home and like like my own personal like heritage and kind of this grappling of like choosing to live in a place that I call home but also not I have two homes, the home I live now and the home that I like, grew up in. And so both of those sorts of things and then playing with like my own personal like individual like ties to place and ties to places I'm not from. And so I found that interesting just being like looking at like my own family heritage. In my master's I'm dealing a lot with um, those ideas of, of home and place and routine and so it was just very organic to fit this uh, in to be able to like come here and spend spend a month kind of dealing with those sorts of things.